What's up, Bells fam? All right, guys, today we're going to be doing Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 9. Pretty excited for this episode, man. Last episode, we had basically Eren um, handcuffed by the freaking scouts. Um, biggest thing that happened was Sasha actually, um, you know, Gabby, Gabby killed she Sasha. Shot, she shot um, Sasha and everything. Um, pretty sad moment and there. You know what? There was a lot of like bickering in the comments. Yeah. Some people said that, you know, Gabby, you know, she had the right to kill. Sasha, and then on the other side, we had people like hating on Gabby yeah. for doing that. Yeah, that's the thing. You see, I see a lot of people picking sides, right? And yes. I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm in the camp where I'm like, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not picking, I'm, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to pick side. I'm mutual. You know, in the beginning, devil's yeah, advocate. in the no, not really. In the no. beginning of Attack on Titan, I was on the scout side. Yeah. I was on the, I was on the, you know, Aaron, because all the, mm -hmm. those, their side. But now that we know more about what's going on with Marley and after what happened, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like indifferent. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just neutral, We're watching. We're right? Watching. At this point, I'm just like, man, you know, I just don't like that the LDs are fighting amongst each other. But it is what it is, and then you know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm just here. I'm just gonna see what happens. Sometimes, like I'm trying to stay neutral, but I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, neutral. What you did said, I say? You said neutral. Oh, sorry, neutral. Um, but I find myself like always leaning towards like Aaron's side, and I'm, I just need to stay in yeah. the middle. Yeah. And kind of see like both sides. All right, guys, if you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing. We're going to be guys talking tight reactions every week. We also have the early access on Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, link to that in the description below. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go. Armin. Wait, we're going to get a backstory. Yeah. Some kind of. Okay. So they're saying he's saying that they're, they might have been able had a to change something. To, yeah. Change. Are they in Paradise? Marley must learn what happened. Yeah, they're in Paradise, I think. Yeah. Because remember they mentioned something about like ships going there? Yeah. Or whatever. Oh, oh Aaron. Aaron. Holy crap. Damn, he's picking up the ship. What? He's like, Whoa, I'm taking dude. you with me. This is. Ooh. Welcome to Paradise Island. What a greet! What a greeting! Freaking Hanji. Damn. Oh. True. Aaron is is right behind you. Yep. 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 Treat us with respect. I bet he got flattened, probably. Whoa. Oh. Oh wait, that's the yeah, girl that's who the sided guy, with um. Right. I'd be a, with I'd the be service corps. Right. Interesting. Okay. Because remember those two Marley soldiers? Episode 68, Brave Volunteers. So this is the this is probably what happened with the Zeke thing and everything because maybe this is when they started allying with each other. Mm. Hmm. Oh. That's how they had all these weapons, the weapons and yeah. stuff. Yeah. One million. Oof, that's a lot. The pure titan release here. No. It blows away my expectations. Oh, wait a yeah, second. Yeah, where are they from? Okay. So they're from Marley. Right. Until we met him. Zeke. Oh. So she's she's doing this all for Zeke. So are they Eldian? I'm kind no, of confused no, I'm, by no, that no, I, I, I think they're from Marley. Right, because they never but said they were I don't were think Eldians. they're Eldians, no. Oh, so there is diplomacy happening here. Okay, I see. All right. Which we have now. Right. Aaron and Zeke. Let me pause this for a bit. So Zeke was trying to save the Eldian people, mm -hmm. which is what I've been trying. Like, Zeke is trying to save the Eldian yeah. people. People are going to die in war. I mm -hmm. get that. But at least Zeke is trying to save his people. Yeah. Unlike what Aaron was, was trying to do. Aaron is just like revenge. No, he's just killing everybody. Yeah, revenge. Exactly. He's killing innocent kids, children, all that stuff. And I don't think that's what Zeke necessarily planned, which is what he said there was miscalculations. Mm -hmm. But um. Wait. So you're saying that Zeke, um, but they both have a different agenda? Yeah, but because you, like you, you see how this girl, this girl was talking. Well, I, I think she's a girl. She is a girl. She was talking about Zeke. How she, he's like a. Uh, he's a god or savior mm -hmm, for the powerless mm -hmm. or whatever. He wants to free his Eldian people yeah. and wants to align himself with the Eldians. 
maybe I don't know how he really feels about the people in Paradise, but I think he really wants to save the Eldians or get them out of segregation mm -hmm. from Marley. But um, I like the way he's going about it. You know, he's trying to work work on it with diplomacy, talk to the other Eldians on the other side, and see if they could come to an understanding and actually, you know, come together and have these Eldians, you know, you know, not be segregated and actually have their place in this world or whatever. But yeah, but it's then again. You're saying that Aaron might not have like that same. I think Aaron. He's more like revenge versus like saving the Eldians. Is that what I think Aaron, Aaron doesn't really see another way. I think Aaron maybe it's like the, he doesn't think that he thinks that he has to kill all his enemies mm -hmm. or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's never gonna work. You're yeah. just gonna create more enemies. You know. So let's keep going. When his conditions are met. Yeah. Can activate the rumbling. So they're saying that by using this power, if he has Zeke with them, he could use the power because Zeke has the Because yeah, the founding blood. titan and also yeah, uh, like blood of a royal. Correct, because of, that's how you activate the king's mm -hmm. the, king, the the the. And the supposedly founding that's power. what you need to save the world. Yeah, but the rumbling, interesting. That's, huh? Because we know the walls have a whole bunch of titans in them too. Hmm. Yo, Levi, that's a good question, Levi. We need the volunteers. The volunteers are those two Marley soldiers. Right. Um, they're setting up the other Marley ships. Yeah. Right now. Ah, they see? They're setting them up. <laughs> they don't even know what's coming. Yikes. Wow. Yikes, dude. Oh, freaking Armin. Oh, they were part goodness. of this, this big plan. <laughs> Oh my god. You're gonna, gonna love, love it. it. <laughs> Gun pointing straight at your face. Mmm, <laughs> cause they don't have any dark skinned people over there, yeah. <laughs> With a mix of people. It's more interesting. <laughs> ah. Cause there is a big... Wait, wait, that's what some people... You see, this is the thing that's interesting about, about Attack on Titan, right? I'm pausing it real yeah. quick. You know, Attack on Titan. Yes, we, ha we you know we're in this like this political climate right now. We're at war, different countries. You know, all this other stuff, right? And like a good side, bad side, whatever. But there's a bigger picture here. All this stuff is kind of human stuff. This is just human. Mm -hmm. This is not. This is not. You know. You know, because the bigger picture is like is God. Because we're in a world where titan ex titans exist. Mm -hmm. This is not something that exists in, like, in a, that's just, that's fantasy. Mm -hmm. But in Attack on Titan, titans exist. Yeah. So there is a bigger picture here. All this war stuff, this and that, your side, my side, that's cool and all. But the bigger picture is who created them, which they're alluding to here, God. God. So what if there's, like, you know... Obviously, everything is gonna go back to Emir, the original Emir mm -hmm. that had this, this this time power. Yeah. What gave her that power? And I remember in the trailer that they had, that we had, there was like this weird tree. Remember that that, that trailer before the season Didn't came out? Yeah, I remember. And there was this little girl or whatever. Yes, that, with the apple or something. Yeah, like, some, it was like Adam. I, I don't know if it was an apple, but, but it was like some sort of. But there was like somebody. Sort of I don't know. But there was a little girl there. There was a tree yeah. and all, and there was energy stuff. That's Weren't we the, saying like we're resembling that to like the tree of life or didn't we have that conversation? Yes, we had a conversation like that. Yes, but we're maybe, yeah, maybe it, it, maybe it does symbolize this tree of life or something. Maybe that's how they were created. But that's the thing. There is a bigger picture here. So I don't know. It's just very interesting now that I'm thinking about this. This is not all there is to it. This political stuff. Oh, are we going to win? Like a are greater we gonna being. There is a greater thing here. Mm -hmm. So that that's the thing I really want to see. I want to get to. So. We'll, well see. I'm sure Netflix we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to that for sure. Oh, they're eating good. What the heck? Hmm. Oh, the Eldians never had seafood before. Is that what they're saying? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Sasha, bro. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's so good. It makes me cry. You know, I wonder if these Eldians. or whatever these people from the ships or whatever. I'm guessing they're Eldians because they never really clarified. The Marleyan Eldians, mm -hmm. whatever. I wonder if they're just gonna start seeing them as people and not devils. The people like this guy that's cooking and stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see, as people. Exactly. See them? We can understand each they're other. They're starting to yeah. see each other as people now. Mm, hmm. 
And so the rumbling was just a threat. It was a threat. Wait, so pause it. So is like Armin trying to say like, hey, we, we can do this a different way. Like, can we just talk to each other versus being like, um... Like, like having violence. Right, I think that's what he's I think that's, to. yeah, I think he's like, hey, is there if like a If we can fix Marley and the words... Misconception. Yeah, misconception, yeah. Then we will we'll be the devil's terror. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's what he's trying to say. Like, hey, like, I think there's a different way we can do this. Right, right. But, and then you see Aaron kind of like, misconception, like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> see, that that's what I was saying. Like, can they talk and like, you know, Yeah, I think that that's stuff. what he's alluding to. Yeah, and like diplomacy, you know, but... Oh, they didn't. They didn't work like that. You see, he's saying, "Who can turn into titans? They're not wrong." It is true. Yep. They don't have time, though. That's the thing. Wow. So it seems like Armin and Mikasa were kind of like. Damn, oh. dude. We're back to where Sasha got shot. Mm-hmm. You see? Like another way of doing war. It. See, not, war is never the answer. Not to me. I think there should be another way. But hey. Oh, her tombstone. Sasha's tombstone. Who who's over there? Oh, this this guy's beating the Marlin. Mm. Damn, that's the, Sasha was eating his food. Wow. Even mm. he's like saddened by her death. And he's yeah. not even an Eldian. That's the thing, like they have Marlin people there with them. Mm hmm They're starting to understand them. Yeah. That they're not devils. Yeah, exactly. Not only Eldians from Marley, you know. You see, like, we can get along. <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, but that's a small percentage. Yeah, like Aaron said it, like, how many? Like, it's a very small percentage. This is so crazy, man. Like, Zeke orchestrated this thing. He sent people there to give these guys this information. And this is the first time he's seeing them. What is going on? Our cautiousness, okay. Damn, this is so interesting, man. What the heck is... Look at those Dude, eyes. she looks like she... Like she Ooh, wants... She's, boy. She wants revenge. Oh, he's talking to Annie. That's what we saw in the trailer. What? Win and live. Jesus, bro. Oh, boy. The only way to win is to fight. Oh man, um, uh, you know, I think this episode was for, you know, to show us, you know, more of a um, perspective of how this whole thing came about. They call it all orchestrated. Yeah, how this whole thing came about, right? And um, what we're not seeing is how Aaron actually got to Marley in the first place. That's oh, yeah, the thing we we're not seeing yet. We, we don't know how that really happened there because it seemed like the scouts. You know, obviously they're blaming Aaron for what he he did still, because the way he went about it and it kind of like messed with their plan a little bit. So I don't know if they uh, knew that Aaron was actually leaving. Like I think he just left on his that's, own well, that's terms. What I'm, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I think Aaron put a wrench in their plan a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's where I think that's the thing I think we're missing here, because it doesn't seem like you know what Aaron did, and because he sent a letter to them. And they read the letter and they came and gave him backup and everything. But I don't think that was ever part of the plan for Aaron to go and do do what he, like, because obviously he was in handcuffs and mm -hmm. it looks like he's in a jail cell right now, whatever. But, you know, the thing is, we're seeing a perspective here of how, you know, how we had these Marleyan people actually, you know, um, helping the Eldians from Paradise and saying that they're trying to give them their freedom and this and that, whatever. But the thing is, what I'm not sure of is that they, did they specifically say that Yelena, is that her Yelena? Yeah, the blonde girl. Um, I'm guessing the, the 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 black guy is is a Marleyan. I'm guessing he's not he's not um, Eldian. Eldian. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not sure if the Yelena girl is a Marleyan or Eldian. She didn't really specify. She just said that they were poor and they the Marleyan like they people took forced their homes them, yeah, took their homes and they, forced her in the military, yeah, or whatever. So I'm guessing they're Marleyan. But they also said something about like different people from different um um you know different nations mm -hmm. or something yeah they did yeah they, they mentioned about different something nations about or whatever different so nations. i'll probably have to rewatch this episode so you know what maybe they're not now like that you mentioned that maybe they're not Eldian or Marleyan. Yeah. maybe they're just from a different nation yeah but they but she also said she saw zeke and Marleyan force them to get in the military so i'm not really too sure i'm not i'm not too sure there but this is my point the, the point is is that you know we got the perspective we see how they came together and how they started helping the the, Mar the Eldians from Paradise mm -hmm. 
but um we're not you know it's like you know i don't know like armin was saying you know he wanted like maybe they could talk to them you know how the the, the marlanes here are starting to get along with the eldians there they're seeing they're not devils and everything you know the world you know Aaron is right right in some way where we're in this world imagine if we had people that could turn into titans yeah you know what i'm saying that would be bizarre it, it's not that yeah that, but like do you think that we would i think we would live in a constant state of fear mm-hmm. of the of those people because mm-hmm. we're like damn they are, can kill can, us at can any we moment. really trust these people mm-hmm. like they're not like us can we really trust them and i think you know it, it trust is the issue here it's like you can't you know because the rest of the world don't trust the Eldians mm-hmm. and the Eldians don't trust the rest of the world this is why we have this conflict here you know they don't have trust in each other so that they don't harm because you have Titans here eating people these people are here eating people like so like you know so it's but interesting even, it's it, go ahead no like Armin was saying like he he wished there was like a different path but I think now like getting to the point where we are now he's maybe thinking or what I understood was that there was no other way. Yeah. They needed they needed this to happen. Yeah. And there won't be peace. You know, but this it's the same thing. It's the same thing with like let's say there wasn't science. You know, you have countries like United States and Russia or whatever, you know. There's always even though we live in a world where there's mostly no big conflicts, mm-hmm. there's still like you know, I can't really trust this guy because he's Russian or he's American. Like in a bigger picture political wise, you know, Russia and the United States are always like looking at it and China's are is in that mix as well, whatever, and North Korea and stuff like that. But like that's the thing here, like, you know, we live in this world, we know we you can't fully you can't trust these people. Cause like, you know, these people are like doing like you know different things. They they have different beliefs like communism and different stuff mm-hmm. like that. So like and democracy and you know socialism, whatever. But like the point is is that trust is the issue. And uh, you know, maybe they could, but the thing is the Titans have an abnormal power mm-hmm. that the rest of the world don't have. The rest of the world they have guns, they have airships, they have all this stuff, but they don't have this Titan power. Mm-hmm. So this Titan power makes it to where the rest of the world is against them because yeah, of the fact that they, they have some... and they resort to violence. Yeah, so, you know, Armin's, you know, diplomacy would have been interesting. I would have I would have liked to, to have seen that play out. Mm-hmm. But I guess we just not, we're not gonna, we're not, we're, we didn't get to see it play out because it wouldn't have worked anyway because this is such an abnormality mm-hmm. in the world. Yeah. Which is, going back to that, 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 that thing I said in the beginning, you know, this whole thing, this war thing, is part of it. Is something you know? It's a, I think it's a small part of it. Mm-hmm. The bigger picture is how does this Titan stuff happen in the first place? Who gave them this power? Who created them? Well, who created everyone? And does God has? Is there a bigger plan here with like God and the God in this world or yeah. whatever? So that's, and then also like what you said about the trailer about the little girl. Yeah, and with the Emir and girl, Emir I believe, because I believe that's Emir right there. Because who yeah, else would it be that yeah, little girl? Yeah, it kind right? of so like symbolized. The, yeah, it symbolized because the tree was there, the little girl was there. It makes sense that it is the Emir mm-hmm. girl, or whatever. So, um, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Interesting episode. Um, you know, obviously, I would like to see how Aaron got to Marley in the first place. How he infiltrated that military. You know, yeah. he had a messed up leg. You know, all this stuff. Yeah, like, uh, how did he get to that point to where he felt like it was necessary to go against the plan a little bit and do his own thing? Because Aaron did his own thing there, right? So It was all on him. Yeah, well, not all of him, but it was mostly that he didn't see a way to, you know, talk to people and get along yeah, with Yeah, no, he's, like, he thought that, like, this was, like, the only way. Like, there yeah. is this way or, like, no way. Right, but, um, ah, we'll see. Like I said, I, it's, the precedent had already been set. The precedent, you know, dictates what, what's going on right now. And, um, I'm just, I'm just kind of waiting to see how this stuff plays out, right? I want to see how this stuff plays out. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride, I believe. And especially but, um, like I'm interested in like what's gonna happen with, with Falco, but especially with Gabby because Falco seems kids. like he he kind of gets it. I think Falco kind of like understands, but Gabby on the other hand, she's like she's outraged, you know, like yeah. she. I think like she's thinking like Aaron like there's no way like I have to seek revenge like I have to kill these people yeah but the thing about Gabby is it's it's that's you know she's still a kid right so I, I know I understand she can't see it because Zeke sees it 
right? Because Zeke is yeah, on the side. Yeah, but Falco sees it too no, when he's no. a kid. Yes, Falco does see it. Yeah. But Falco, Falco probably has a different level of maturity than she she does. She's probably still, I, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt that she's still a little immature. And that's why she has those looks. She's like Aaron when he was a kid. Aaron now is more mature than he was back then. But Aaron, Aaron doesn't see another way but this. You know, and Zeke from the Marleyan side, he sees the way where he wants to, you know, have some kind of, you know, he wants to have some kind of alliance with the Paradis Eldians because they're all Eldians. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the Paradis Eldians are still being a little cautious with Zeke because they don't, they, they hear that Zeke is trying to align himself, mm -hmm. but they don't really fully trust That's him yet and his people because you saw they had him at gunpoint yeah. there, which is understandable. That's what you do if you're mm -hmm. in the military. You don't fully trust people. You know, you, you know, guys been killing us for years, and now all of a sudden, you know, I'm still gonna be a little cautious here yeah. until the plan really go, goes full in full effect. But the thing is, Gabby is not at that point of maturity to see. Well, Falco sees it, even though they're about the same age. But Gabby seems like she's more stuck on that revenge and killing my enemies. But the problem, the problem that li that that lies here is that Gabby sees herself as different from them, which is what she doesn't fully realizes yet. Yeah. She is exactly as, as they are. Mm -hmm. She is an Eldian. Gabby doesn't really fully see yet that, man, when these people are gone, who is going to be... Because I'm still Eldian. Yeah. The end, yeah At the, the end, end of the day, the day I still Eldian. have the power to become a Titan and eat people. The world will always be scared of you. The world will always want, probably want you to be out the picture. Yeah. And I think she wants so, to be proud to wear that armband too. Well, but the, I think uh, that, she mentioned something because about in the, that. Because this is this in the moment. I, to be honest, I, if the like, let's say the devils from Paris are gone, there's no point in really having Marley's probably still gonna use them, the mm -hmm. Titans, as like you know their military power and mm -hmm. have the armband and everything. Yeah. But they're never going to be, you know able to really fully live in this society because of the fact that they're Eldians. And she doesn't see, and that's what Zeke sees. Zeke wants to free his people. Yeah. Gabby doesn't see that yet. And Falco probably sees it a little bit. And mm -hmm. he sees both sides. He does. And so, especially he, he was in communication yeah. with, with um, Aaron. I'm gonna give Gabby yeah. the benefit of the doubt, but like I said, because of what Aaron did and they're still kids, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if Gabby killed somebody else. Because those eyes she had in that, that episode, she looked like she was ready to kill somebody again. You know what? I wouldn't go too far as to say that she will. Like, I hope they would have, like, her under control after her. Like, you know, after she killed Sasha. I hope she doesn't have another opportunity to, to murder someone. So, no. I would be surprised if she, she did that. I, I definitely see another death coming by Gabby's hand, 100%. I see it coming, that you know, it crazy. is what it is. Um, it, you know, at this point, I'm just, you know, I, I, I want to see how this stuff plays out. But yeah, I, I see I see another death happening from, from Gabby's hand. We'll see. We'll maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Definitely, guys. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.